Welcome back, Laura. Let's see how the fundamentals of uranium and nuclear power look heading into the new year. Well, to start, we have this from the Financial Times. Hot uranium threatens a meltdown for Western energy. A mining and enrichment capacity crunch looms for U.S., Canadian, and EU utilities, right? What does that mean? It means demand is surpassing supply. It's what we've been talking about. The Financial Times finally picking up on it. Obviously, for a commodity, it doesn't get better than that. This comes from Paladin. Fresh charts in the new year. Uranium, structural supply shortage in the Western market, right? White is the demand currently exceeding the supply in the green bars, right? Existing production in dark green, secondary supply in light green, returning mine production in lighter green. Can't meet it. Nothing can meet that unless the West finds uranium from the East somehow. But even that is just getting scarcer and scarcer. So this is what, exactly what the Financial Times has been talking about. Again, does not get better for the supply demand fundamentals and upward price pressure on the spot price of uranium. And obviously very good for the miners that hold this scarce resource in the ground. New nuclear deployment starting in 2030. Look at the uptrend in nuclear deployments for the next few decades, right? So demand isn't slowing down anytime soon. Massive wall of demand incoming, not enough supply. Nuclear power entering boom era on traditional energy woes. Tax cuts and subsidies in various countries accommodate a shift to nuclear energy. So we've been talking about this, the wall of capital moving in. And so we have this from the Wall Street Journal. Washington heats up nuclear energy competition with Russia, China, US, puts diplomatic clout behind sales of cutting edge reactors that have yet to show commercial success, right? Just getting started with the mass adoption, mass pro proliferation of this technology, wall of capital moving in from the world's wealthiest nations. France bets $1 billion in startups building bus-sized nuclear reactors to fight climate change. The UK makes landmark 300 million pound investment to become first nation in Europe to produce enriched uranium fuel for advanced SMRs as part of plans to displace Russia and help deliver 24 gigawatts of clean, reliable nuclear power to the UK by 2050, right? So the world's biggest countries investing heavily into the space at the same time, not so much in wind, right? BP Equinor tear up contract for big New York offshore wind project. Movement's, movement's latest blow to struggling US offshore wind industry. Other green energies languishing, the nuclear green energy flourishing. Fundamentals do not get better. Regulator paves way in Japan for restarts by lifting fuel ban. Security concerns led to NRA constrictions at seven unit nuclear station. Well, Clearly, they've gotten their act together. Earthquake shows Japan's beefed up nuclear nuclear safety works. As crisis was averted this week after the country tightened rules for its atomic fleet in the wake of Fukushima, right? So they had an earthquake, no issues. Nuclear energy proving decade after decade to be a very reliable, safe fuel source. But then future technology just getting better and better for this fuel source, more and more advanced more and more proliferation and demand for it. UK-Korean partnership to develop nuclear-powered cargo ships. A memorandum of understanding has been signed between Lloyd's Register, Zodiac Maritime, HD Korea Shipbuilding and Offshore Engineering, and KEPCO Engineering and Construction for the development of nuclear-propelled ship designs, including bulk carriers and container ships. It doesn't get better than this heading into the new year. We're just getting started. Fundamentals speaking for themselves, absolutely massive what is going on in the nuclear energy space.